Welcome back friend this is Ram here and it's 50 second tutorial on Java FX 8. In this tutorial we are going to see how to import excel sheet data to database or how to read excel sheet and write into a database. So let's begin. This is 50 second on import to database so I'm going to add one button using that button we are going to import the excel sheet data into a database so import excel to database now I'm going to add this button after export button and I'm going to copy this Replace export to import next import Excel. db and set the font sans serif and font style next I'm going to set on action method so set on action start with the lambda expression and in that we are going to write and query to write the excel sheet data into database so string query equals to say insert into so user data Base. This is the our table name user database, and in that we are going to add some fields like ID, first name, last name, and say email. and the values of the fields with the question mark and semicolon next we are going to add the query in the prepared statement so pst equals to connection dot prepare statement next add surround this block with the try catch so surround block with the try catch now next I'm going to read the one of the excel sheet so I have created one excel sheet with the name user info and I have added some users so these are some users which I have added in the excel sheet now we are going to import this users into our database so I have added three users with the id first name last name and email 
now we are going to read this excel sheet and write into a database to do that i'm going to add object file input stream say file import equals to new file input stream and in that i'm going to import that excel sheets of new file and the path so it's is in a root or a directory folder so i'm going to directly add the file name so user info dot excel less x so this is the file name user info xlsx we are reading this file using a file input stream now this is because of file not out file not found exception so add this clause into a catch next i'm going to open a workbook so using that workbook we are going to read the excel sheet and write into a database so first of all convert this into a multi catch now xf xss f workbook say wb equals to new xss f F workbook and we are going to pass the file to workbook. Now next we need to add the x io exception for file in so add catch clause for io exception now next we are going to create a sheet so x s s f sheet so sheet equals to read the or get the sheet so wb dot get sheet at say index 0 and we are going to create a new row so row and with respect to the row we are going to add the each rows data into a database so add import for org apache py dot o ss user model row next we are going to read the each rows from excel sheet and we are going to add that rows in a database so to do that I'm going to use a for loop say integer i equals to 1 so on the 0th row we have the names and in the first row we are going to we are having the details of the user so from fr first row we are going to read the details so i and we are going to give the length of the sheet so sheet dot get the last row number so get last row number and i plus plus
now next we are going to read the first row so row equals to sheet dot get row so we are going to add the first row details into the row now with respect to the row we are going to add the rows contained into the database that is the id first name last name and email so to add these details we are going to say pst dot set so first is the id so set int in the first index parameter parameter index and we are going to read the first column details that is the id so row dot get cell and the first cell is zero so first column dot get numeric cell value so the the first way first column contains the numeric value that is ids and the error is because of the excel sheet returns the value in the double so we need to cast type it into a integer so convert this into integer and next we are going to read the second column so pst dot set string that is the first name so, so this is the second parameter index and we are going to read the from second column so get cell second column dot get string cell values and semicolon similarly we are going to read from third and fourth column that is last name and email so this is third index read from second column or second cell that is the last name and this is the fourth parameter index and this is the third cell that is fourth column email so we are going to read this the details from the row first row and that first row contains we are going to add into database using the each cells so next pst dot execute now we are going to execute this query that will add these contents into a database and so it will continue up to the last row in the excel sheet now next we are going to add one alert that is dialog after completion so i'm going to copy this and add into a, so this is the for user details imported from excel sheet to database so after adding the all excel sheet contents we are going to generate this alert dialog with the message or uh, information message user details imported from excel sheet to database so after this we are going to close the workbook and file input stream so workbook dot close and file in dot close 
next we are going to close the connection that is prepare statement and rs so pst dot close and rs dot close and after adding all these details into a database we are going to refresh the table so refresh table and add this import excel to db button into layout after the export to excel button now save this and run so this is the import excel to db button which we have added in the database so first of all we are going to load the initial content in the database these are the initial contents now after importing the excel content into database it's going to add into the table so import maybe there is some problem with the code so good so error in the query so this is the values so next save again close the previous and run once again so these are the previous contents now I'm going to import the excel sheet data so the message is generated user details imported from excel sheet to database after clicking ok it will add into the tables so, okay so these are the details which we have added that is the user ID with the 101 102 103 we have added from the excel sheet so let's compare the data So these these are the contents from Excel sheet we have imported in the database and they are exactly match. So this is the tutorial about how to import Excel sheet contents into the database or how to read the Excel sheet and write into a database. If you have any query or a question about this tutorial ask me in a comment section or you can mail me on my email id that is alapureram at the rate gmail.com and finally if you found this video helpful please like share and subscribe to my channel thanks for watching this video see you in the next tutorial